Scorpio and welcome to Positive Light Tarot. My name is Tracy and I'm so happy you're here with me today. This is your weekly reading for November 4th to the 10th. We are going to get right into your reading. We are going to collect your incoming energies and then we will do a nine card tarot spread and we will also clarify if need be to get all the messages to find out what is happening uh, for the very first full week of November. Scorpio, please remember this is a general reading. Take the parts that resonate and leave the rest. And if it does resonate, please leave comments. I love to connect with your energy. I appreciate you taking the time out to comment. So thank you very much. Uh, and uh, let's, let's get going here. Let's find out what those incoming energies are for you. For the beautiful sign Scorpio. What are the energies surrounding Scorpio at this time? We've got one there. And do we have another one? We do. All right, you've got two energies right here. Very interesting because you've got two um, uh, masculine energies. Of course, there's no gender with any of these cards. Uh, I'm just gonna read them and then we'll get into them later, but you've got number 46, the thinking man, looking for clarity, looking for some, uh, looking for some answers. I think there's some answers some, to some questions that you're needing. And then number 45, man holding a heart, definitely can be you, Scorpio, because again, you are a water sign. Uh, hearts would represent cups. So again, that's Scorpio, uh, Pisces, and Cancer energy. And again, I think that you, uh, I think that a lot of decisions that you make, I think a lot of things that you're going through, I think a lot of the clarity that you're receiving for things comes from a heart perspective as well. I think that you're showing, uh, I think you're sh uh, showing your, the world uh, who you are through through your heart. And I think that maybe there are matters of the heart that, that also too uh, you could be dealing with at this time as well. Let's start with the bottom of the deck though because this is your current energies and they have a lot to do with what's happening, what's incoming. So let's take these three energies and we'll go from there. So we have got, look at all the love surrounding you. My goodness. Oh, say, so we've still got number 23, uh, all tied up, number 49, angel of love, and then number 28, victory. So you could have, you could be at this current time feeling like your hands are tied or you feel like you're in a situation or you could feel like there's people around you that are, it's just kind of trapping you. It's making you feel enclosed. It's making you feel like Almost like, you know, you're, you, you know, you, you, you're, you don't feel like you, you have free will right now because something is, of course, making you feel like you're all tied up. Now, the angel of love is here to say that we don't always have to make, we don't have to feel this way. We have to release ourselves from that. Now, I think this has a lot to, uh, to I think this connects a lot with the energies that are incoming. The angel of love is, again, trying to let you know that <clears throat> what your heart wants and what your uh, what your heart is telling you is that there is something that you have to release yourself from and I think that you are feeling a great sense of victory for that number uh, number 28 victory uh, 28 in numerology is the number 10 so it is kind of the closing out of something so I believe that if you've been feeling an entrapment of some sort or you just feel as if you have just, you know, sometimes we just feel at a standstill and we're not exactly sure what, what our next move is and it makes us feel like, like our hands are tied. Um, the angel of love is, again, circulating around you to help bring you in a great sense of victory. So let's find out. We've got, I think that how you will feel this great sense of victory is because you will be getting clarity to a situation. So there is definitely a situation around you that is hitting your heartstrings. And it could be something that, you know, again, you're waiting on that clarity. And that's why the man holding a heart is here looking for answers. So let's find out what those, what those questions are. Let's see what you're questioning, um, you know, what you're questioning. And, and so that we can start opening up your heart in a, in a more productive way. Uh, because again, you've got a lot of, there's a lot of emotions. It's as if there is a lot of emotions kind of circulating around you right now. What we need to remember, Scorpio, this is your season. Happy birthday to any of you that are celebrating birthdays. Also too, we just went through a new moon in Scorpio. And again, you know, it's an emotional time. It's a transforming time. And I think that that's what is kind of happening for you this week. So let's find out. We're going to do a nine card spread. I'm going to get all nine cards out first. I'm going to let you know which, but we're going to read them as we, as, as they've come out, but then we're going to take each row by row and clarify if need be. So let's start with the first row, Spirit Angels Guides for the beautiful sign Scorpio. There we go. All right. So you've got the Five of Cups. 
All right, a little bit of emotions. Your emotions are a little are going through a transformation. Absolutely, feeling a little lost there. Number 14, temperance. That's lovely. See the rainbow? That comes after a period of sadness. And then the eight of swords. Again, see, feeling all tied up. There is some situation that needs clarity. Something to remove that blindfold. Your mind just can't seem to release something. And I think it's because you don't know what the answers are. Let's get the second row. Let's find out what the second row is for you, Scorpio. Ah, love to see that card. And then we got two here. You've got the Ace of Swords. Beautiful. So that's that victory. You're breaking through. There's a victory. In the center of your reading, you've got the Knight of Cups. Lovely energy. That is like a proposal. It's almost like it's your heart. It's what your heart is it's calling for. Then you've got the Ten of Swords. So we're closing out a chapter. We're getting to the end of a cycle. And Page of Cups, we're bringing in new energy, new positive energy, creative energy, loving energy. A lot, of, a lot of watery energy going on. Let's get to the last three cards for you, and then we will go row by row in detail. Look at all the strength you have. Wow. All right. Number eight, the strength. Leo energy, you are, you know, you are feeling like there are lots of possibilities, and the reason you are able to feel like you have these infinite possibilities or potential is because not only are you protected, but you have an inner strength and willpower about you that gets you through anything. It, it, it's, it, I think it's your strong beliefs. I think it's your strong values. It's the core of who you are. So this strength is something that's very important right now. It's going to help you. These two cards came out together. We've got the Eight of Pentacles, which is, again, all the hard work and diligence you put into everything. You master everything that you do, your relationships, the connections around you, family situations, you know, work-related situations. Again, striving towards completing goals and, making, and setting new ambitions and new plans. I feel like you are ready to embark on a new adventure because the fool is the beginning of the fool's journey. You are ready to adventure in a new way. All right, and then we've got... Number 18, the moon. The moon is our fears, our, our subconscious, right? So the things that kind of, you know, go through our mind. Uh, again, there they could be some fears of feeling like you, you know, you're, you're afraid to make a decision. You're afraid of, of what the results are going to be. But you're, the, the afraid feeling, the fear that you're feeling is based in your mind. I feel like that's coming to an end because we got that Ten of Swords there. So I think that you are going to be closing out that chapter in your life, which is very um, promising for you. All right, so let's start um, with the first card here. We've got the Five of Cups. This row here is really showing us uh, for you, Scorpio, that there has been some sort of an emotional loss or you're going through an emotional period uh, or, or you could be you know, currently going through that and it is your incoming energies. So again, because you have been feeling a little bit like you've been trapped, I think that you, you're, um, it's a playing a toll on your emotions. Uh, you are dwelling a little bit on the spilled cups, but there are cups that are full. Look at those two beautiful full cups. It means there is, this is just a period that you're going through and we all go through them. Uh, I think you're just, I think you need to just take a little bit of time out for yourself to regain your strength. By regaining your strength, you, you will be able to let go of whatever has hurt you and you are able, to, you're going to be able to focus on the positive connections that are around you because there is a lot of positive, beautiful, wonderful people around you that are, are there to show you love too and in fact there are people that are in the offering of it as well so with that five of cups we'll find out uh, we'll find out uh, what goes with that five of cups let's clarify it and find out where this sadness is not all is lost here I think you're looking for clarity I think that we feel lost in situations because when we don't have information or we we don't know what's going on we're blind you're blindsided by some some way um, it can make us feel a little lost all right, so we've got the, uh, well, not all is lost here because, again, we see that, you know, you're feeling a great sense of sadness here. You're feeling a little bit, uh, 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 you know, you kinda, you, you're kind of, you're kind of withdrawing your emotions a little bit here. The three of, the three of cups is a celebration. So there is a new beginning uh, of, of happiness here. Uh, there is, this is a temporary period for you with this five of cups because there is a great sense of celebration here. Uh, you will be able to let go of whatever it is has been causing you sadness uh, because, again, there's either an invitation or it's you sharing your time with people that, 
that make you happy. It's bringing in again those pos that positive flow of energy and, and surrounding yourself with people that love the same way that you love as well. So they show you that same love in return, just as, just as you show it. Uh, the King of Wands energy again can be very much um, Leo energy. You're showing a lot of Leo energy in the, the, the row if we go, if we go uh, to the right. Uh, so again, I feel like there, uh, there may have been some sadness around something. You may have gone through a period of sadness, but you're feeling a great sense of revitalized energy. You are celebrating with loved ones something. There could be somebody around you of Leo energy that is celebrating something. Uh, and, uh, and even though uh, for a period there uh, it, it made you feel a little sad, um, you are now feeling like you, you are feeling re-energized. And uh, you could also too be taking the lead with something as well because the King of Wands is very much leadership energy. It's fiery energy and it's again it has a lot to do with having that strength. Empowered to set, uh, set your goals and to move forward. You're not going to let your emotions hold you back. You're not going to let your emotions make you feel trapped or all tied up. You are ready to feel like there's victory and that there is celebrations and wins in your life. And if you have to take the lead to bring that into your life, you will very well do that because you have a great sense of determination about you as well. All right, let's find out with the temperance because this is really now you're beginning to blend your worlds in a, harm, uh, in a harmonious way. You're feeling that peace and harmony harmony starting to flow in for you. I think that you, with a sense of clarity and with some direction, you are really going to be able to feel this angel, uh, angel upon you uh, and in your presence. That rainbow is there for a reason. It's because you have been struggling emotionally with something, not only emotionally, but your mind as well. And it's been something that's been fearful for you. But this temperance is here to balance all of that out. It's there to bring you, to bring you um, a great sense of peace. So let's find out what your what the uh, clarifying card is with the temperance for Scorpio. What is happening? Two more cards. Oh, I'm so, I'm so happy. Wow, these are beautiful. No wonder you're feeling the rainbow here. The rainbow comes because again, you got the Ace of Swords. Twice in your reading, the Ace of Swords. It's getting to the truth because when we get to the truth, we can cut, we can cut the restraints from our hands. We can take that blindfold off. We can cut right through it because we're getting to the truth of everything. We're feeling a great sense of victory. This victory might come with you doing a little bit of med meditation or doing a little bit of self-healing. Maybe you need to take care of yourself just a little bit more. I think you've been expanding, uh, over exerting yourself, trying to help everybody else around you. And a lot of that could be why you've been feeling a little drained with that five of cups. You need to revitalize your energy and the truth, the victory is what's coming in to bring that peace and balance into your life. Great sense of celebration here. For some of you, it is a marriage card. So if you have been going through some sadness in a marriage, because we all go through it, um, it's looking like there's a revitalized energy around you and you're, whatever it was that was maybe causing a little bit of discomfort, it's actually because truth is being revealed here, you're actually putting yourself in a much healthier and, and, and wonderful um, situation. So you're feeling much more hopeful about the things that are happening. Happening. Uh, the Four of Wands again is a celebration card. I feel like the gateways are opening in a nice direction for you. They're opening up for you. Uh, and again, a lot of it comes not only with that great sense of victory, you have victory three times in your reading already three times. Um, so again, it's that way that we feel too, you know, just feeling like we're accomplishing something and that it's moving in the right direction and that everything that we are accomplishment, accomplishing, the base of it all is truth. It's integrity. It's and it's bringing a lot of wisdom. It's bringing us, like we can feel the wisdom within us and that's what's bringing us this great sense of celebration as well. Let's find out what this Eight of Swords is. I feel like these are energies that are closing out for you. I think that they're, they, wow. Another Ace, look at that. Wow, one, two, three. You've got three Aces. Lots of beautiful, loving energy around you. You are opening your heart to new emotional experiences in your life. You're letting people in. I think you've had barriers. Barriers. I think you've been setting boundaries because you've been protecting yourself from being hurt that you haven't been allowing the love to flow through. So now by being able to remove those boundaries, remove your, your thinking, thought processes towards what love is. You know, if we, if we think of love as a, as an entrapment, it's never going to bring love into our life. So by being able to remove that blindfold and not feeling like you are tied up in any way, uh, and removing that obstacle from your life, from your thought process, you're opening up your, your opportunities for love around you and just for your heart to, to be more open to 
uh, all of that love around you too. And again, whether it's romantic love, platonic love, friends, family, uh, you know, even work partnerships, colleagues, um, community groups, whatever, you know, if you've been setting so many boundaries that you're not letting people in, this is the time to stop, to stop, take some time out for yourself, redirect your thoughts and open up your heart. All right, we've got the Ace of Swords here, which is that beautiful Ace of Victory. It is getting to the truth of everything. So let's find out what is going on with the Ace of Swords. Spirit Angels Guides. There we go. See, you've been feeling trapped. Whether the trapment is caused by other people or whether it's something that you have fixated in your mind, you are breaking free from this and I'm, it's wonderful. Uh, the 15, the devil energy, it can be us being tempted also too. <clears throat> we can be tempted to move in directions that we know are not for our healthiest or not for our good, for our own good. But you always have choice. <clears throat> you do not have to choose to go down that road. You can break yourself free from anything that's been holding you back from moving forward. If there's been toxic relationships in your life, you're ready to break free. You're ready to feel victory. I feel like you are deciding on some major life changes here. I think that there might be certain situations and people in your life that you've decided that, you know what, I'm not going to uh, put myself in this position anymore. I'm ready to break free from that energy. The Knight of Cups. There is a proposal of love here, and it means that proposal doesn't necessarily have to mean it's coming from someone else. Uh, it is cup energy, which means it can very well be your energy as well, Scorpio. I think that you are ready to open your heart up to love, and I think that you are releasing anything around you that has been making you feel like you, you aren't, that, that you haven't felt that free will. So let's find out with the Knight of Cups what's happening here. There could be somebody who is proposing something to you. Let's see, lots of new energy. There we go. And you got the Eight of Pentacles. So again, you know, there could be an opportunity where work is concerned because the Eight of Pentacles can be the hard work that you put into everything. Now, sometimes it's the hard work we put into relationships, right? Uh, maybe that relationship is the relationship you have with yourself. Could be a relationship you have with somebody else, platonic or romantic. It's gonna be differently different for each of you. Uh, I think that you put uh, I think you put a great deal of emphasis and, and attention to details in every single relationship that's in your life. I, I think that you are, uh, I think that you have been able to set boundaries, maybe to a point where you've set so many boundaries that you've closed yourself off from, from, from opening up doors to, to new experiences with people. Uh, I think there is some people around you that really want to offer you something more, uh, uh, but where work is concerned, where anything that you've been putting a lot of hard work and effort into, uh, I think that it's starting to pay off for you, and, but not just in a physical way. So you're not just receiving the benefits of it from a monetary perspective, but you are really, again, opening up your heart. And it's this could be work that you love to do. This could be an opportunity that presents itself that, that brings you a great sense of joy and, um, and, and love. All right, so now we've got the Ten of Swords and the Page of Cups. See, there is some sort of new message that's coming and it's really opening up your eyes to, to um, a new creativity around you. Uh, it, it, this is, the Page of Cups is a very youthful energy and a very intuitive energy. So again, your intuition could really be guiding you towards new opportunities presenting themselves. Whether those opportunities are love-related or work-related, uh, again, you know, you're seeing a lot of breakthroughs happening. Um, if you've been in a job where you've been feeling trapped because maybe a boss has been a little toxic, you're going to break through from that energy. And I I think you're going to move in a new direction that's going to be something that opens up the doors to uh, something that great, brings you a great sense of passion. Uh, you're ending cycles in your life and sometimes cycles can be painful to let go but you, you but what you're starting to understand is that this is the light at the end of the tunnel that that the sun can rise again that you do not always have to be in darkness and although it can be fearful i think your inner wisdom and i think your inner intuition is guiding you in the right direction so let's get one more card to clarify to find out with the uh, Ten of Swords and the Page of Cups. And you got the Five of Chalices, and this is what has been bogging you down. This is the Five of Cups. This is what has been emotionally been very difficult for you. Something emotionally is very hard for you to let go. But it's very important. It's a necessary part of your 
road to victory is being able to let go of a situation that has brought you a little bit of sadness because beyond that sadness if you can break free from that you will see that there is an opportunity that's sitting there that's waiting for you it's ready it's presenting itself it's coming in and it's something that is going to bring you um bring you a greater sense of of love from within uh, you won't be focusing anymore on the sadness because you're going to let that sadness go and you're going to open up the opportunity for something new something new that is going to bring you um, like I feel as if even even your whole mindset is just it's almost as like new uh, this new energy is going to bring in opportunities that are going to have a loving base to them we don't always love what we do in life sometimes we do things out of necessity but I think that there's an opportunity that's presenting itself for you Scorpio that is is going to bring you a victory from from the from the angel of love um, perspective. All right, we've got the beautiful number eight strength again. You've got infinite infinite <laughs> infinite potential. So many opportunities are presenting themselves for you, and you know what? Whether or not you know these opportunities are requiring strength because you are going to have to close out certain things. There may be relationships in your life. Maybe there are people or things in your life that 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 you know people come into our lives for reasons and they don't always stay forever, and that's okay. Sometimes they're there to stay for a certain amount of time to get whatever it is you know, to get a job done, to, to learn a lesson. And then they, then, then it's time to let those people go. It's time to let those situations go. And I think this is a period for you where that is happening. And I think that you have the strength to be able to get through this time. Let's find out what goes along with this beautiful number eight, the strength. All right. These two cards came out together. So the Ten of Wands is, uh, you know, again, feeling a great sense of burden. And I think that, I think that you, again, I think you overexert yourself. I think you overexpand yourself uh, to people in your life and to situations in your life. So then it leaves you feeling exhausted. It leaves you feeling like you're carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders all by yourself. You so badly want to reach your destination and you're trying, you work hard towards everything that you do, but you're making the journey even harder to reach your destination because you're carrying too much weight. And I think that that weight and those responsibilities are not necessarily your own. I think that, that the universe is giving you the strength and they're protecting you from this energy and they're helping you to find solutions to, again, close out this cycle. It's a number 10 as well, meaning that you're coming to the end of this journey. You're not coming to the end of the journey uh, without a great sense of accomplishment though, because yet another victory card for you, lots of victory here. So again, you're feeling a great sense of uh, happiness here. And I think that you have people around you that are, uh, are recognizing all of the hard work that you do. I think that there are people that maybe have been relying on you for a long time and putting those burdens on your shoulders. And I think that there could be some people in your life that are saying, you know what? Thank you. Thank you so much but now I know it's your time. I need to release you from these burdens. And I think that's why you're feeling a great sense of victory and you have the strength to be able to do it. All right, we've got the Eight of Pentacles again. So twice in your reading, you have the Eight of Pentacles, meaning it just shows that hard work that you put into everything. You're putting hard work into something because you're ready to venture into something new with the fool's journey. Let's find out. Taking a leap of faith, even though it could be a little fearful because you don't know where it's going to lead you. You're ready to put the hard work into it because you really feel it's going to benefit you. And, and, and it's time. It's time for you to reap the benefits of all the hard work you've been doing. The Knight of Wands is very much Sagittarius energy, fiery energy. You are wanting to move closer and closer to your goal as quickly as you possibly can. Not afraid of taking the adventure. So I think right now you, are, you, are really, um, you really want to release the fear of moving uh, moving into this beautiful fool energy. Uh, you want to take the leap of faith. You want to remove the obstacles from your life and you are ready to move full force ahead. And that Knight of Wands is giving you the enemy, the motivation. It's giving you the energy and the drive to do that. Staying focused, staying focused on your goal, your goal of keeping, uh, keeping your head down and paying attention to all the details just so that you don't miss anything. By paying attention to the details and putting that hard work in, it's going to make your journey for the new beginning a lot easier. And you are ready for a new journey. For some of you, it really could be a relocation of some sort, whether or not you are deciding to move home. For some of you, uh, with the Four of Wands over here and the Knight of Wands, you could be doing some renovations in your home. Um, you could be building an extension. For some of you, I think you might be extending your home in some way. Uh, and again, you're putting a lot of hard work uh, into that as well. Uh, for some of you, you could be moving home. Uh, maybe, maybe you are taking uh, your your 
relationship to a new level and you could be looking for uh, to purchasing a property with somebody and uh and that is the whole new beginning and new adventure that leap of faith that you're taking that could be just for some of you all right number 18 the moon let's find out with the moon energy what you are fearful of what is this fear let's find out spirit angels guides the message for the beautiful sign scorpio very intuitive and look at that. I think that you are granting your own wishes here. I think that miracles are happening around you. The nine of chalices is uh, wish fulfillment. It is setting those wishes and really starting to see them come full circle for you as well. Maybe this is why you've got so many victory cards, Scorpio. We've got just victory absolutely everywhere. So many aces. We have tens closing out the things in your life that have brought you sadness bringing in new energy to, you're releasing all of the burdens whether they're emotional or physical burdens they could be health burdens this is all revitalized energy coming your way what you've been wishing for you are starting to see i see a huge ladybug here so i think that you uh, i want you to keep ladybugs in mind because they could be significant um, spiritual messages for you whether it's a ladybug if you're looking through a book and you see a ladybug or whether you physically see a ladybug they're all, all messages um, coming from your spiritual team and they're letting you know that they are there to help you with your wishes. If you see a, a, a ladybug of any sort, make your wish. Absolutely. Don't be fearful. Don't hold back. Do not hold back. Do not set limits. There is limitless opportunities available to you right now. So do not be fearful of all of the things that are changing for you. If anybody understands restructure and change, uh, it, it's you, Scorpio. You, you go through it, you're, you're used to it, and, and you handle it with a great sense of strength. So do not be afraid of all of your wishes coming true. Don't hold back. Don't set limitations. Wish for the stars. You have so much victory. We want to see that it for you. Absolutely. All right. Let's get your additional angel message here. Let's find out what your angels would like to share with you. They have two messages for you. The first one is to surrender to trust. All right, so trust yourself and your decisions. Don't be swayed by other people's strong opinions about what to do. So don't feel trapped. Take action and be confident that you have chosen the right path. Absolutely, that full energy is you taking that leap of faith and knowing that you've chosen the right path. Surrender to trusting in, in, um, in your angels and, and into your own intuition. Surrender to divine timing. To divine timing can sometimes be that temperance card as well. So sometimes divine timing may differ from your ego's timing. If a goal isn't manifesting fast enough, according to your ego, be patient and trust the universal flow. Lots of trust at this time. Everything is going to unfold for you in divine timing. Sometimes there's things, there's preparations that have to be made first in order for that ambition or for that goal to, to transpire positively for you. And although I know we always want to rush into things, uh, your universe, the universe and your angels have your back. And, and they know that uh, they know when the right time is going to be for you. Victory is assured here. All right, let's get your uh, additional angel message. It says to declutter. That just kind of fell out. Declutter. Absolutely. It's time to cleanse things in your life. Cleanse your emotions. Cleanse, you know, declutter the things, not only decluttering your home, but de decluttering things from your in insides, from in internally as well. Uh, it helps you to release any of those burdens, the weights that you've left on your shoulders. All right, let's get your angel message. And they want you to relax. Decluttering would help you relax as well. For some of you, it really could be decluttering because you could be on the move. You could be downsizing or you could be up, maybe you're, maybe you're upscaling. Whatever the case may be, you are deciding to declutter things in your life um, to make room for much more positive things. So relax. All worries and anxieties are leaving my mind, making space for calmness and peace. Beautiful. The angels want you to know that feeling at peace internally can boost overall contentment and feelings of happiness regardless of challenges you face. A relaxed and calm outlook can help you navigate life's often turbulent waters more smoothly. Time to relax, surrender to trust. Divine timing is taking place for you. Let's get your final angel number. Now, I want you to keep in mind absolutely 100% ones because you've got a lot of aces here. So one, 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 very important numbers. You did get two eights as well. Actually, you got three eights. So eight, 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 ones, and tens. 
So keep all of those in mind. I know it's a lot to keep in mind, but you do, you do have a lot of those synchronicities. Spirit, angels, and guides. The angel number for the beautiful sign Scorpio. And look at that, clarity. Clarity is what's going to bring you your sense of victory. Five, four, three. So trust yourself and the universe to make the necessary changes to achieve your goals. Soon you'll gain clarity about your life's purpose. Beautiful energy. This was a very, uh, a very interesting reading this week for you. I hope that it makes sense. And of course, I always wish that it, it resonates with all of you. And I hope that it does. But please let me know. Please also consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. I can't thank you enough for all of your love and support. Until next time, sending you love, light, and positive vibes.